the injuries of work are different for uh, a hacker class producing information than for a working class producing things. So if you're working class producing things, there are a lot of physical dangers usually attached to that. There's a lot of boredom attached to that. Uh, there's a kind of wear and tear on the body that's attached to that. But it's a little bit different when you're sort of sitting in a coffee shop with your laptop and like you don't even really quite know what the thing is you're supposed to be working on. You just know you'll be told after you've done it if it was the right thing or not. So there are, there are sort of forms of anxiety that are attached to that. Uh, there are forms of depression because of will I get that next job and, and can I do all this stuff. There are ways in which you have to be uh, present in social media all the time, which definitely doesn't, didn't apply to traditional forms of labor. So I think the kind of injuries of, of this kind of labor are kind of different and specific and really need addressing as things that uh, are social effects of the commodification of information by a ruling class, rather than as, oh, you are depressed, so that's your problem, you should be on this medication, which, by the way, the national health doesn't even fund anymore, etc., etc. So I think to sort of take back that space of affect and feeling uh, and mental well-being, as well as the physical downside of doing labour with information is that everybody's got RSI, everybody's got a sore back, so, and not to say it doesn't have physical side effects as well, uh, but that we get kind of get caught up uh, in problems that seem like they're mental but are actually social as well.